To get to work, Alejandro Divasto has to drive up roads to an altitude of over 3,000 meters. His job is to service the machines and equipment in the Los Palambres copper mine in the Chilean Andes. Each year it produces 300,000 tons of copper. The high altitude open mine is Chile's fifth largest and one of the country's most profitable. You can't see any copper glinting in the grey stone. That's because the valuable metal is present only in small amounts. It may not look like it, but this stone here, for example, contains about 1% copper. That's the average concentration in the mine, sometimes a bit more, sometimes a bit less. The concentration varies. We try to find the strata with higher concentrations of copper. They usually lie a little deeper. Siemens supplied the conveyor belt to transport the stone. Mining copper in the mountains is no easy feat. The equipment has to function even in extreme weather conditions. But people in Chile regard German technology as very reliable. Technicians perform regular checks on the conveying equipment. The belts operate around the clock, moving about 9,000 tons of ore every hour. If the conveyor belt stopped, the entire mine would grind to a halt. The machines have to be both good and reliable. At the moment, we have about five degrees below zero, and it's colder at night. The machinery has to keep running, whether it's summer or winter, rain or snow. Copper has become one of the most coveted raw materials in the world. In recent years, demand has doubled in countries like China. This year, the Los Palambres mine will expand production by a third. Then it will be operating at full capacity. Winter is fast approaching, but Ricardo Funes has to accelerate the rate of production. With snow expected to soon be five meters deep, the whole operation has to be reorganized. We're preparing the snow chains to put on the excavators, for example. All in all, our work is getting harder. At times, the temperature in the mine will be 28 degrees below zero. The copper ore is transported 13 kilometers from the mine to the processing plant in the valley. The conveyor belts are the heart of the mine because without them, the difference in altitude could not be bridged. The mine operators invest about 20 million euros a year just to maintain the equipment. Copper-rich mineral is separated in the factory by means of an elaborate process. First, the rock is crushed in mills as big as an apartment block. These machines likewise come from Germany. High demand around the world means there is currently plenty of work here. The end product in the mine is an ore slurry with a 30% copper content. Buyers in Europe, Asia or the United States will later extract the pure metal from this raw but profitable substance. <laughs>